So what about the triglyceride to HDL ratio? So a lot of times in cardiology, we're trying to figure out what is the single best way to predict whether or not you're going to have heart attack, heart disease, atherosclerosis, multiple stenotic branch, vessels in your heart, how many blockages you have or don't have. So this has been looked at tremendously. A lot of these medfluencers and people on here are like, well, you know, all you need to do is look at how high the triglycerides are and how low the HDL is, and that's all you need to figure it out. Well, no, that's not all you need. That is one way to figure it out. But what you're doing is taking all the people with the worst cholesterols and selecting out the ones that have the worst, least controlled, undiagnosed diabetes. You're taking people that are pre-diabetic and don't know it, or they're diabetic and poorly controlled, and you're saying, aha, look, they have the worst, highest triglycerides to the lowest HDL ratios, and that's why they're the highest risk. Well, sure, if we took a bunch of people who are at risk for cancer and we selected out the smokers that smoke the heaviest, um, those would be the ones that have the highest risk. So